I think there's a part of hacking culture that is definitely anti-authoritarian. For me, a lot of the work is about self-empowerment. And I think once you feel what empowerment feels like, it means that our voices get heard more. My name is Evan Roth, I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm here working on an exhibition called Intellectual Property Donor, and my work is taking a lot of cues from hacker communities and involving misuse and how these ideals that come from software programming and from the internet can be used to make pieces that talk about contemporary <laughs> culture. For me anyway, when, once I had that feeling, it made me more emboldened to, like, to speak out, to say things, to, to think that maybe activism can be something different than just holding a sign. Should we, should we get started? So the workshop I ran was called Urban Hacking. Working with the students was amazing. They jumped in super quick and understood kind of the concepts that I was trying to talk about in terms of introducing what's happening in sort of hacking culture, especially hacking culture kind of post-internet, and then what's happening with street art and graffiti movements. And we had like an hour left at the end of the workshop to actually go outside and people were really eager to do that. So there's, there are little pieces of that workshop that are living in the streets and in the bathrooms around Wesleyan. If the role of the artist is to reflect what's going on in the culture and to predict the world we're going to be living in, then there's no artist who's more important right now, I think, than Evan Roth, whose work we have on view here. We just had a lecture and Evan packed the house, so very exciting beginning for this exhibition and its tour. The title Intellectual Property Donor comes from an earlier project I did in 2008, which are these small stickers where you could put them on the back of your driver's license. In this case, you could sign away your intellectual property. For me, the idea of this being like an inspiring gift that you can give away is what kind of influenced a lot of the art pieces in the show. One thing I suggest sometimes is to kind of forget about the piece you think you want to make for a moment or the statement you think you want to make and instead just do what hackers do a lot which is look for weaknesses in a system. Look for the exploitation first. The TED piece is a good example of this. Like the idea for that piece is less about this joke about fooling TED and so the idea is you can use this as a way to spread these other ideas online in a way that people might pay a little bit more attention to because of the three glowing red letters. The internet is this huge force in a lot of our lives, but it's this kind of moving target. It's something that's always in flux as like operating systems change, screen resolutions change. So I'm interested in trying to take this culture that I'm so inspired by and trying to figure out a way that we can hold on to it so that it doesn't just change every time our computers change or every time our screen saves. So that as we look back on this era, like what were people doing when the internet was really hitting the masses? Like what were artists doing? What were non-artists doing? Um, and so I'm, I'm really interested in that and how this work can age and be something that has a life that's longer than just a blog post. <laughs> <laughs>